that chunk chunk. And I am back again with another banger for you guys today. We're gonna bang this to some up. Bang! And today I have. Nicole and today we're doing. Chipotle! Yes! Z C C family! Today we're doing Chipotle. I'm super excited and really, really hungry. Mm -hmm. So, how hungry are you? Super hungry. And Nicole is hangry right now? Mm -hmm. Why are you so hangry today? And I've been craving Chipotle. Nice, nice. So, <laughs> so what are you doing? <laughs> Let's break the thumbnail. <laughs> All right, no problem. Okay, so. Father, no, no, no. This is what I'm doing. This is ready. What are you wondering? Nothing. How's your day? All right, you ready? <laughs> I'm glad you guys. Father God, I want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. That's good stuff now. Let me see if I can hold up the Chipotle. Bag. Okay. 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 All right. Let's mm -hmm. dive in. Mm -hmm. I was just playing with you so you couldn't eat long. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Nothing's on your hand. Nothing was on your hands. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It actually, the lady banging this up, she kind of got sour cream everywhere and tried to wipe, wipe it up, but you know when you wipe it and it just keeps on spreading, that's what happened to the top, so. Mm. So she tried to do that. Mm -hmm. It just didn't work out that way. It just didn't work out. Too many people and not enough workers. I think actually it was like, Time passing when all the workers leave and then no workers come in for the day. Mm -hmm. So, why did we play with Chipotle? Mm. Is that aluminum? Mm. You mentioned it the other day and I was like, oh yeah, that sounds really good. Mm. Okay. Well, I got a healthy bowl, you guys. Mmm. I was all types of crazy stuff though. Mm-mm. Mine's super good. I got white rice, steak, corn, tomatoes, both salsas, lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, onions, the whole nine yards, basically, except for beans. Pretty much. So I got pretty much a, a my version of healthy. I got brown rice, tomato, all the sauces, so the corn, steak, and chicken. Um, no cheese, no sour cream, no queso. Do you ever just get one meat, not well, two different kinds? Mm, no, not really. Why? So when did you ever find out that you can do both, like half and half? Well, I said, listen, you better do half and half right now, otherwise <laughs> I'll turn this place upside down. And then that's when Chipotle changed their, their rules. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that how it went? Mm -hmm. So no one ever done it before you? No! Ah. Mmm. Shocking. And so you went with the healthy bowl, right? Yeah, no, I'm fine with I don't know how I figured it out. But yeah, I'm going to do the healthy bowl. Well, Nicole, I suppose she was getting a healthy bowl there. Just how I'll think about it. <laughs> well, I really wish I could read your mind. Mine? Yeah. Mine. Because when I tell you to think about something, I want to know what you're really doing. Probably thinking about Rondo Mondo. Who? Nicole, how come you don't ever think about something when I actually think about something? <laughs> huh? I do. What are your thoughts going to be a hat? I'm thinking about, okay, should I do a healthy one? Should I do a regular one? I was like, listen, this is, I was talking to myself in my head. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I want to go towards the healthy one because, you know, I'm noticing my face gaining a little bit of weight or whatever, but I was like, you know what? The weekend's coming up. We don't work on your channel on the weekend. So, Nicole. Mm -hmm. is going to try to be vegan all weekend long. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be 
recording, so don't hold me against it. This is my first time ever attempting to do that. So basically, what I want to do is I got sent some teas in the mail, mm -hmm. and they're supposed to flush you out and get all the toxins out of your body and this, this, that, and the other. Now, I don't want to go into details, but people messaged me about it. It was like, you know what? It's a thing where you got to stay home and, you know, if you know what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to try to do that and see if I lose 10 pounds. No, I'm just like, <laughs> um, that would be pretty awesome though, huh? I'm about to break your face for even bringing up those cheese. Do you get that spin in your face? Mm -hmm. I apologize, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> what cheese? The tease you just said, you just said, I don't want to talk about it. But listen, so that's your plan. Mm -hmm. Go vegan for a weekend. What made you think of this? Because of those things you got in the mail? Mm -hmm. mm. Well, you could have really started today. You started eating healthy today if you really liked. I know, but. You just wanted to go crazy? I haven't gotten Chipotle in a long, long time. So, actually, I got it when I was named Darius. Actually, we all got it in Ohio. But mm -hmm. since then, I haven't had Chipotle. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go all out for the one time and then try to do good over the weekend. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Me. I've been trying to do healthier choices, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to stay away from things that it's not needed. Mm -hmm. But these cravings, they just don't stop. You know how bad I want a Sprite? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I am. Try to believe I understand. My plan this weekend, I think I'm gonna just like be at home, not go out. Film, chill, still get my house together. Relaxed weekend. <laughs> Until someone dials my phone and is like, hey, you want to go out? I'm like, yeah. First of all, do you want me to tell them what you did last night? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. That's what, that's what I thought. <laughs> so, today, I went to go look at another house. Um, today I went to go look at a house. And I'm going to tell you guys the location because I'm not going to apply for it. It was in the Woodlands. Woodlands, Texas. Suburb of Houston, I think. Um, and the house was nice. What did you think of the house? Mm -hmm. Okay, with me. The house was nice. It's just... The neighborhood was too, like the title, woodlandsy for me. I love trees. I love nature. I just don't love country. And it was too country for me. Yeah, it was too much going on. Uh-huh. Mm -mm. Nothing wrong with the country? No. Nothing wrong with it. You got three types mm -hmm. of living. You got city living. A suburb living, a country living. I like suburb living. You know, it's a mix of city and country. You know, mm -hmm. now I don't want to give country that much credit because I just really don't like country living. Mm -mm. <laughs> the house is very, very nice. Um, I don't know. Do you want to like get into details? No, you can out there. Um, it was four bedrooms, huge garage, very nice area. Um. They definitely needed to do some touch-ups in the house and like some cleaning before they actually sold it. Their things were still in there, so you know, of course they weren't just gonna like up and leave like that, you know. That's another thing too is it was new construction. Mm -hmm. I mean, not new construction. It was I already lived in the house. Mm -hmm. Me, calm do whatever. I was like new construction because I like it for the fact of just like being know I'm the first person to dwell in this house. I don't know, you know, the past vibes that were in here, the energies, you know. Mm -hmm. It's always being the first person in the house. Yeah. I definitely like that as well. Um, before, I didn't really think about it. I was like, eh, I don't really care. But now that you, like, said that, I'm like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, so. 
That's another thing about buying too. This words of wisdom. Well, it's not that crazy. Like I'm giving y'all, putting y'all on. But buying used cars that are very unique. Mm -hmm. You just don't know who's been in that car and what kind of problems that car came with. And I'm not talking about mechanical problems. I'm just talking about problems that that person had. Like let's see, in Milwaukee, for example, there are so many cars that used to go. Like when I was younger, when we used to go to church. There's so many cars and there's this car dealership that had all these turned up used unique cars. It'll be like an orange car on 24 inch rims with a certain design on it, you know? And I'm just thinking like, you know, that car comes with history. Yeah. Like if someone says, wait, is that is that Joe from from back? I remember three years ago, dude pulled up with me and did something crazy. Yeah. So now they may go crazy thinking that's him in the whip. Uh -huh. And it's just me, and it's still me like, you know. No, some some problems that like because they thought it was me, you know. Now they're I mean? in trouble. Well, I mean, well, I don't know uh, if that person's gonna go crazy back, you know. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's just not good. And I remember you giving me advice on that as well. Mm -hmm. Not a super like a purple car, because obviously you know not everybody has a purple car. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, when you buy things that very unique, unique, of course it's brand new. You're having a ball. I'm saying if you're buying a used car, it's very unique. Of course, you got to think of mechanical issues too. But just think about what kind of history that car could have been in. And you're the only one in the city with that car. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's like saying, remember the car in. Now, no one would want this car after um, if they sold it or whatever. Well, maybe, but. In Milwaukee with all the stuff on it? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, say if that guy just went and did something crazy, and yeah. then they sold it. I don't know. I'm thinking of that car as, I feel like that car like lived at the Purple House too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I always thought the Purple House was Jeffrey Dahmer's house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey Dahmer's house is actually, well it was his mm -hmm. grandma's, but it was. But he committed all his crimes. Yeah. It was um in a very well known area. <clears throat> well, and I really think I'm like let's talk about Jeff Dahmer. He's from North Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Indeed, I was trying to die. In my city, we were raised in. You no, know? that's crazy. <laughs> Wisconsin, home of crazies. Mm hmm. <laughs> Born and raised. Not me, I was born in Wisconsin. You were raised? I'm not a Wisconsinite. I'm Chicago through and through. Nicole is a born, uh, cornbread, grass fed, mm -hmm. uh, Midwest girl. Little place in Wisconsin. Not the country though. Mm -hmm. Oh no, not the country. You ever think like, man, like, are you like, are you proud to say, oh yeah, I'm from Milwaukee? Oh, is it like, a, yeah, from Milwaukee? Man. <laughs> yeah. mm. I was talking with my homies, he's like, yeah, I was born in New York and raised in Houston. I'm like, dang. Well, got, that's cool to say. Yeah, like, yeah, nice little background. That's you know? cool to say. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Most people are like, huh? Where? New York and Houston is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I would want to say New York and LA, but you know. Imagine if you're just born in a different life. Meaning, like, born with rich parents, Sam. That would be really awesome. <laughs> uh, You'll be having a ball? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But. I don't even know. I wonder what kind of problems we'll have there. Because, you know, everybody has issues. I just want to know rich person's issues, you know? Do I want pink shoes or purple? Fake friends. Oh, yeah. For sure. Fake everybody kind of use them. Yeah. They're ready to try to come over to your house so they can play video games. Uh, well, I'm thinking about adulthood. I'm talking about genuine love. Um. <laughs> My whole thing about video games. <laughs> no, man. 
Mm-hmm. Genuine love. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's like that movie where the girl threw her husband in the tub with the water. Because he picked her up for another girl. <clears throat> Sad. Never seen that movie. Yeah, you did. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'm pretty sure I had it. Mm. What's this movie called? I don't know the name. Yeah, no, no. You've seen it. That's a ring the bell. Listen. He's sweet. I forgot how the beginning starts, but I think her name is Helen. And she, I think she is, well, hold on. I don't want to go too crazy. Um, she does everything right. Whatever cooks clean, da 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 then one day he goes, get out, I have a new girlfriend. She's banging on the uh, door with her dress on. No. Yeah. And uh, then he becomes like paralyzed or hurt or something. Should have said a Tyler Perry movie. Oh, I didn't know it was a Tyler Perry movie. Um, let's see the moment. No. No, I can do all that I want to Is it? Oh, the Diary of Mad Black Woman. Yeah. I'm thinking you're talking about some light movie. Mm-mm. That's a lie. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I feel good. But, yeah. So today was a long day. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm so glad Yeah, we actually do a lot. Me and Nicole learn. We can, we have a time limit. You know, we could be <laughs> together throughout the day. Mm-hmm. From this hour to this hour, it's okay. We start setting those hours, we gotta start throwing hands. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 no, no, yeah. <clears throat> no, yeah. No, definitely. Like, yeah, like no, after no. this move on, I'm gonna go home. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, so. <laughs> start my weekend, not no, doing no. anything. I wanna um, just go home. I've been really trying to take care of my skin, mm -hmm. and I've been doing these clay masks. Mm -hmm. Which literally you can't move your face and it starts to tingle and that's how you know when you gotta rinse it off. Mm -hmm. But it feels really good when you rinse it off and you lather it into your skin because it kind of gets like a little itchy. But if you use cold water, it works. I feel like those things don't ever work. Mm. Well, and I know a lot of people comment, eh, hey, that work, that work. But well, I'm probably not consistent enough. Mm-hmm. No, it really works for me because <clears throat> I have really oily skin and it takes away my oil, mm. my oiliness. Um, so yeah, basically it's a powder and then you mix it with, well, people mix it with water, I think, but um, I was told to mix it with apple cider. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, it has like a really bad smell, but it doesn't take long for it to dry on your face and you just wash it off. Mmm. You know, one of my last videos I saw people say, Y'all, why don't you just pour hot sauce on the whole thing? <laughs> because there's a certain amount of hot sauce I need on every bite. <laughs> and one bite may be really good, but not the next bite. You get my drift? <laughs> yeah, we get it. I don't think it is. I hardly get to pull it because Chipotle is so tedious to me. I know, you gotta take a chip, take, pick some up, put some hot sauce on it. And then finally take a bite. It's a lot of work. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. I want to throw this jar for it. Mm. It's like. <clears throat> So did you always do that? Like ever since the first time you had Chipotle, you always do yes. the chip thing. Yes, it's a nacho. You no, it's not. It is. No. It is. No, it's not. So what is it? It's a bowl of stuff. <laughs> With chips on the side for a nacho. Mm -mm. I really didn't see this as being a nacho at all. <laughs> But um, I actually don't 
think I ever got, well, no, I think we did burritos once on the channel or something, but I never just go to Chipotle and get tacos or, or a burrito. I always get the bowl. Because I feel like it's super taxing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, I, it actually is. And homemade tacos are my favorite now. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say this weekend I should make some, but can Why can't you? Well, I can make like lettuce tacos now. Yeah, we'll have meat. Mm. That's the thing. This weekend, I'm having one of my friends from LA come now. We're kicking it. He wants to see the city. That's exciting. I know nothing about the city. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to show him this little bubble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. So we got grass right here. <laughs> We got a park right here. Tacos! Taco Tuesday! Margaritas? <laughs> That's about it. Listen, I'm just not a club fanatic anymore. And then, plus, oh, there's a lot to do in these clubs. And when I say a lot, there's just a lot going on in the clubs in Houston. Yeah. You're like, in the Houston clubs, just on a bigger scale, you know? You need to get a section if you're going to be at the club in Houston. You're not trying to wait no line. The lines is dumb, dumb big at every place. So when you, when you and Jenna go, y'all be skipping line or not? Nah? No, listen. I literally just went one time. My first time in Houston, I went to the club. Um, my friend knew a friend of a friend, whatever. The owner. So no, we skip the line, go right in. Totally fine. Then we get to the section. And there's just way too much going around in on in this section, and it was just way too much. And I then at that point realized I'm good on clubs. No, uh, club heart though actually. That's what I think it's called club heart or whatever. They don't ever let people in. No, they no. don't really let anybody in. I did not. We just skip the line. Well, I mean, every time me and I year ago, I hope this is focusing. Every time me and I hear go, okay. Every time me and I hear go, we skip the line. To like me, and, we we don't make lines, you know. But um, no, at heart though, they they do not let nobody in. So I just think I and I'm just thinking like, all right, people have to know like every time like you guys gotta know you're not getting let in. So what's the point of sitting in this line? No, actually, I remember when we when we walked up, a security the two security guards were saying if you don't have a Go get out of the line because you're not coming in. They literally they were screaming that, and then everybody well, not everybody, but basically everybody just turned around and walked away. <laughs> I was like, dang. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I'm not trying to make fun of those people. I'm just saying, I don't even like being in sections at, at clubs. Like, I really didn't enjoy it. At, you have no room, and everybody's just like doing way too much. Mm hmm. It's a status thing. Yeah, it is. I need tax recessions, but you know, I get it. If you want to look like the ball of Shakala, you got to pay the way. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not with it anymore. <laughs> not that I went in, well, whatever. Yeah, I'm just not with the club scene anymore. I like chill places. But yeah, no. A lot of these clubs, people, it's just a down line, line outside. <clears throat> I mean, like, wrap around the buildings long. That's what I said. In Houston, like, the time of scene is real here. It's just, I recommend the turn up scene for people who are ball and ball. But they, I could just be going to popcorn clubs, you know? Because mm -hmm. I don't know, Houston's huge. So, I don't know about the clubs, but I just know the clubs me and I ever go to, it's a dumb line. But I know this video is about to end off because it was, uh, uh, we have uh, some old footage we got to delete, so Nicole, where can find you at? On YouTube and Instagram, it's Nicole, of course, we're on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. It's Nicole, of course, with two E's at the end. And make sure you guys are following me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All is at Snapchat, that is Z A D D Y C H U N K C H U N K. But Z C C. As we all know, the grind never stops. Until the ZCC game is on top. Let's get it! Uh, it's showtime to hope.
place hopping, stage rocking. This for those who stay watching. For when my tape dropping, long as the bass knocking, I stay popping. I'm trying to run this shit forever like I'm Bay watching.